featuring two very talented front porch doors. This could get pretty physical. Well, this is a night, Kevin, to me, where the officials could dictate the level of physicality. Mm. They know that both teams have big, burly guys up front, that these guys like to engage physically. And so how is the game officiated? particularly at the start. That could set the tone for what could be a cage match. Personally, do you like those kind of games, Doris? I like a certain level of physicality, Kevin. I do think that we've cleaned up the perimeter game. Uh, I think officiating is such a nuanced deal that the best officials understand innately how something should be called. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Charge is the four with Embiid in the middle. Simmons runs the show with Reddick at the two. And it's Covington in at the three. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Here's Simmons. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. Now here's Irving in the corner. Tatum with it. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Tatum's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. This guy is a sensational shooter. It doesn't take a lot of separation for Jason Tatum to put it in the basket. That's how it's done, gentlemen. You don't pass to a play of spot. Let your teammate run into it. Out to Hayward. Outside Tatum. Pass to Irving. There's the screen. Lock at six. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Ben Simmons. The things Kyrie Irving can do with the basketball are just jaw-dropping. Doris, a, a gifted ball handler. Well, he will go down as one of the best dribblers to ever play the game. Creative, consistent, quick with every move. He is fun to watch, Kev. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, how about the anticipation from Al Horford? Perfectly times the release, sent it back. Boy, you have got to love the dime, the pass on time and on target. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I was able to talk with Brett Brown for a minute. He told me he's looking forward to the matchup tonight. It's their first time against this team, so he is curious to see what his guys do on offense. He said it's important that we're aggressive defensively, that we use our length and shot blocking as a deterrent inside. We'll see if they can be successful tonight. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And guys, do you have the emphasis on their defense here early on? I do. I think it's a great idea to play to your strengths, and, and defense is a strong suit for this group. Well, it's something that they have considered their signature. The defensive end of the floor is something they bring every single game. Now, here is Irvin. He dishes it to Horford. And here's Tatum for three. And it's rebounded by Covington. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Sharks with the screen for Covington. To the middle. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Brown drives in, and he banks in the layup. Brown's got six. Uh, Kev, don't you love how Brown just barrels into the teeth of the defense? This is a shifty forward who knows how to get to the rack. Now here's Simmons. Inside, off the pit, and Simmons slams it in. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pit to set up a dunk. Yeah, and that's why we say move without the basketball. You'll be rewarded. Now here's Shorich looking for Reddick. He gets it there. Misses from short range. And a pass break now for the Celtics. Here's Hayward. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Covington. 
nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Covington's got his second basket of the game. And guys, really admire how Simmons finds the open man consistently. The, the vision, the unselfishness. That's what you want to see out of him. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And Ben Simmons, who missed the first season in the NBA with an injury. Boy, Greg, was he worth the wait. Uh, and you knew he'd be a special kind of player after being taken first overall. But, but he is so unique in how great of a player he is. His ability to command attention on offense without having a great outside shot really is something you just don't see in today's NBA. Oh, great ball movement there. Keep going. Now, here's Rogier. He's covered by McConnell and stolen by McConnell. Pass break, Philadelphia. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. How about Johnson's ability to anticipate the window of opportunity right at the cup? Nice. And that was an unleashed chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour, Hover Heaven. Now here's Simmons. Dishes at the faults. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Back to Rozier. The fast is smart. Five on the clock. In the corner, it's Morris. Over Simmons. Misses off the left iron. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 18-7 run. Got that one up quick. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Now a timeout called by Boston. And no doubt Brad Stevens, one of the most respected young coaches in the NBA, or if he doesn't try to coach around foul trouble. You know what I love about Brad Stevens is he's always trying to question the norm, meaning he doesn't want to do something simply because that's the way it's always been done. So just because a guy has two fouls doesn't mean he automatically takes them out. I like that kind of out-of-the-box thinking. The Celtics making a switch here. Irving's checked in. Morris kicks to Rozier. That one a little long. Boy, just enough defensive attention to throw that shot off target. Baines with the block, and they're able to recover. Yeah, the defender all over. The 76ers have had two chances at the line already, making a both. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Celtics trail by 11. And on the way from Irving for three, Simmons pulls it in. Simmons got his third rebound on the ninth. To the right side. Here's McConnell. Six to shoot. Kicks to Simmons over Morris. The 76ers again can't hit it. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. was born in the Dominican Republic and he talked about why he gravitated towards basketball instead of baseball. Coming from a place where, you know, baseball is what's driven to us every time. I mean, I started playing baseball. I didn't play basketball. I started playing baseball and, you know, just watching my dad play basketball, I just fell in love with the game. The people were still telling me, they're like, nobody makes it out of here, usually out of basketball. I mean, your dad was a very rare case and, uh, you know, I just believed in it. Yep, wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. And, and what a career. A college championships at Florida, an all-star in the NBA. I think he made the right choice. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? Yeah, it didn't take them long to get that transition game going. Not at all. Every time they get the ball, they're looking to burn the defense in transition. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, McConnell and Fultz, the playmaking pair in the backcourt. Wilson Chandler out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Johnson in its center. No good on the free throw. Guard Terry Rozier, a fantastic spark. 
Uh, the reality to me is Terry Rozier is a good enough player to be a starter in the NBA, but that ability to create instant offense, really special. Here's McConnell, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. McConnell's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the 76ers. Here's Irving. Over in the corner, Rozier. It's three pointers off the mark. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Fultz, no good that time. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Baines passes to Hayward. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Irving. The kick out to Rozier. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. Well, he just gets ahead of himself and throws it away, right? You've got to have better focus than that. Boston making some changes. Al Horford, he's checked in for Aaron Baines. Tatum comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Brown in for Terry Rozier. Robert Covington's checked in for the 76ers. Fultz the pass to Chandler. Over Tatum. Chandler's shot good. Chandler's got his second basket of the night. Uh, you're right. Something has to change in their defensive approach. They're making things far too hard on themselves right now. Horford kicks to Irving. Picked by Horford. Here's Tatum. Good, and the assist goes to Irving at five. You love the leadership of Kyrie Irving from the lead guard position. Yes, he's looking to score, but he's adept at finding the open teammate. Here's Fultz. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics trail by 13. And a wide open look for Irving. They get the rebound. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got four this quarter. When we are talking about Jason Tatum, we're talking about a six foot 11 wingspan. This is why he's so effective coming up with second chance points. Johnson the screen. Here's Fultz. That shot off. Some solid defense from Brown. Opening night of the regular season. Blue sky for every team. Doors. Optimism is high. Players thinking about all the possibilities ahead. No doubt. It's a time of tremendous optimism for both the teams and the fans of these teams. And the culmination of the work you put into the offseason. Who's improved their skill level? Who's added a dimension to their offensive game? We're all salivating for the start of this year. Cannot <laughs> wait. Smarts checked in for Kyrie Irving. And then for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Jensen. Sharich comes in for Wilson Champ. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Morris dishes a smart. Picked by Horford. Pocket six. The three. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain. Better look at some numbers for Redick. Some last season stats for him. Averaged 17 points a game, three assists, and two rebounds. He has been terrific throughout, putting up some huge numbers offensively. Well, this is exactly who he is, a flat-out scoring machine. You plug him in and let him go to work. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Inside, covered by Reddick. Shot is good in the 76ers lead. is cut down to 14, getting a little bit closer on the bucket from Brown. Right side, Reddick. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Reddick's got his first two points of the night. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And here we go. Fultz heading to the basket. And finished off by Fultz. And it's easy to see that Fultz is a nightmare in transition. A gear shifting point guard who can slice and dice any D in the open floor. Boy, Kev, I love his game. He can hurt you in so many different ways. The 76ers leading by 15. Embiid the screen. Covington kicks to Embiid. Pass to Fultz. Redick is in the corner. Covington with it. Charge a screen on Tatum. Covington with the bucket. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Some range. 
but both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. Morris with the ball, now defended by Embiid. Here's Horford, pass to Tatum, fires for three. That shot off the mark, and the 76ers go the other way with it. I tell you, he's been dry from three-point range in the second quarter after hitting one in the first. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Markel Fultz. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Celtics. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Morris. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Brown. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Simmons has checked in. 102 left in the first half of basketball. Over in the corner, Rozier. Off target from three-point range. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. I mean, when you can outscore your opponent in transition, that's always going to work to your advantage. Well, typically speaking, transition points are high-percentage looks. Get out and go. That's their philosophy. Smart passes to Tatum, takes the three, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Outside, Reddick, Simmons trying to get open. Sharch dishes to Simmons. Back to Sharch and slam dunk by Sharch. And, and Simmons is just the total package. I mean, a player that can really dish it to his teammate. Rozier kicks to Hayward. Boston, no good that time either. Sharch outside. Over Tatum, and there's Sharch on the assist from Covington. Covington's got three assists in the game. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this.